I actually can't believe that it's already time to start talking about fall and Q4 niches. Now, if you are a new print on demand seller or you're just getting started, Q3 and Q4 are typically the times when print on demand sellers are going to make the most money. Sometimes this is only by a small margin, but I know some print on demand sellers that spend the entire year leading up to Q4 so that they can make the most money possible. Now, I want you guys to be able to make a ton of money in your print on demand business. I want you guys to start making more sales Sales, tier up in your Amazon business if you're selling on Merch by Amazon. So Q4 is a really great time to do this, but you have to put in the work a little bit beforehand to be able to really set yourself up for success. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you seven of the niches and trends that I know are going to sell really well, or they're already starting to sell well, and you still have time to jump on those to be able to make tons of sales as we go into the fall months. Now, there's some really good ones in here probably some that you've never even seen or thought of before. So you definitely want to stick around to the end of the list to make sure you see all of them. And if you're new here, I'm Hannah and I share about all things print on demand and making passive income. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love it if you'd subscribe down below for new videos every single week. Let's get onto those trends right now. Now, the first niche that you should be targeting is in that back to school niche. Now, back to school typically is a very hard niche to compete in. There are just so many people that make general back to school shirts, either for kids or especially for teachers. But it's a gold mine if you can figure out a way to actually have a niche that is going to have less competition that you're gonna make sales in because so many people are buying gifts for teachers or they're just buying stuff to wear at the beginning of school. So the niche that you guys should be focusing on instead of just teachers in general is actually going to be making back to school and school themed shirts for all the different school support staff. Now, we always think about teachers as kind of the main thing that gets targeted when we're talking about back to school designs. But really, there is a plethora of different positions at every single school that have so much less competition than teachers. Now, just to name a few of them that I think you could do really well focusing tons of different designs on, you have the custodial workers, you have all the para pros, there are tons of different kinds of para pros, you have bus drivers, you have food and lunch workers. At schools, there are speech pathologists, there are occupational therapists, all types of different positions at a school. So so one thing that I really love to do is I like to take designs that are doing well, they're making lots of sales, and then figure out how I can kind of tweak that to be a little bit more niched down. So if you are coming across designs that are selling really well in that back to school teacher niche, think about how you could just take that design and instead of a teacher, maybe make it for a para pro, or you could make it for a food worker or a custodian. So the possibilities are really endless and it's really nice to kind of create some gifts that people could give to these workers who are also really important in schools. They deserve a ton of thanks too, but there are so many designs already targeted at teachers. So you're going to have a much easier time actually targeting a little bit more specific. Now, this next niche is one that I've shared a version of previously, but this specific niche always sells super, super well. And putting a more fall twist on it is going to make you even more money. Being able to niche down is going to really help you compete. Now, the niche I'm talking about is going to be fall themed baby announcements. Now, baby announcement shirts or gender reveal shirts, they sell super well. People do not blink an eye at buying a cute shirt that they might even just wear a couple times for a photo, for an announcement, or for their gender reveal party for a baby shower. You definitely can have success just targeting general announcement type shirts but really where I have found success and where I find it's easiest to compete is again if you are going to niche down so fall brings with it a really great opportunity to kind of sub niche those announcement shirts one that I know will do really really well is if you have kind of a pumpkin fall themed shirt so you could say something like our pumpkin is coming soon or adding a new pumpkin to the patch brother to a new little pumpkin there are really so many ways to take it, but there are also tons of other fall things that you can do. You can do a football themed shirt. So like adding a new player to the team. Even later this year, we have Thanksgiving coming up. So you could do something like more reasons to be thankful or we have a turkey in the oven. So really just think about any fall activity and then you can put a fall twist on a baby announcement, a gender reveal shirt. The possibilities are really endless, but anything pregnancy and baby related does super, super well on t-shirts. So definitely a niche that you're gonna wanna 
want to tap into this Q4. Now, this next niche is one that I really, really love because it utilizes two of the strategies that I always talk about to do when you want to kind of niche down and make more impact with less designs. And that is going to be a shirt kind of like this, where it says something like third grade vibes or first grade vibes or kindergarten vibes, teacher vibes. Now, the great thing about shirts like this is it's kind of taking the retro groovy niche that is still selling like crazy. It's going to continue to sell for the rest of the year. Consider adding a groovy twist to all your designs. But besides this, this is what we call a scalable design. So you can simply make one design in this theme and just by switching out the grade to a new word, to a new number, you can make literally hundreds of different shirts. So something like I talked about, you could take kind of those school support staffs and put them in this design too. So you could do something like bus driver vibes, or you could just go through all the grades, kindergarten vibes, pre-K vibes, second grade, first grade, and just make tons of designs that way. But really anything retro, groovy, stuff with the word vibes, hippie in it is still selling super well. So this back to school kind of first day of school grade shirt is a really, really great niche to target. Now this next trending phrase is one that I added in here because it still has really low competition, but there is demand for it. And that is just the phrase, my favorite season is the fall of the Patriots. So this is a little bit punny, a little bit funny. And so shirts that are kind of satirical always do super well. So you could really kind of lean into that really cutesy fall aesthetic, but then it says something like this, which kind of subverts expectations. Anytime you come across phrases that are kind of snarky and funny, those make great designs. Definitely you want to get your designs in here. I would do something more than just a plain text design for something like this. You want to make your design stand out. So I would definitely get some cute fall graphics, maybe from a place like Creative Fabrica. I'll have them linked down below and then incorporate really cutesy fall colors, but then have it say, my favorite season is the fall of the patriarchy. And I know that is going to sell really, really well this fall. This phrase is already trending, but there's definitely opportunity to take this and make it a little bit better to stand out amongst the crowd. Now, this next niche is definitely one that there are so many different ways you can take this. Really a lot of opportunities to stand out, make designs that are going to get sales. And that is going to be sports shirts for parents of the players. Now, when we talk about fall, a lot of people are going to think about football. So that is a great one to start with, but there are so many different sports that are starting as kids are going back to school. And with that comes kind of, you know, the soccer moms, the sports moms. So targeting not just the general love of the sport, you're not gonna get very far if you just make a general football shirt. But if you can make a shirt that's for a football mom, football dad, or even the family members of those players. So like, shirts for the grandmas, the aunts, uncles, cousins, you name it. Something I talked about in this design video here where I created some best selling Q4 designs on new products was not just targeting the sport in general, but actually creating shirts for parents who maybe had kids that played two sports or kids in two different sports. So the example I talked about in this video was a soccer and tennis mom. So I created a really cool design where it kind of blended those two. I am always talking about the more specific, the more sub niche you can get, the more likely your products are going to get seen, going to get clicks that in turn lead to more sales. So if you can kind of take two sports and create a parent shirt for a couple different sports or activities, you are going to have a winning design. Definitely one to pay attention to and to create a bunch of different shirts for. Now this next niche is one that is super fun and I have already seen it doing well, but you definitely could take this a step further. And that is making shirts just all about fall activities. So if you've ever seen those shirts that are mostly text that just have a bunch of words that say blank and blank and blank and blank and blank kind of all lined up. Well, you could do this with a bunch of different fall activities and things. So you could do like flannels and pumpkin carving and trick or treating and cozy blankets and movie watching 
packaging. So the possibilities are really endless just by taking a bunch of really fun fall activities and kind of laying them out in a cute way on a shirt, you have a winning design. Now, there are so many different things that you could put on a shirt like this, but definitely you could just look up a list of fall activities and start kind of putting five or four of those on each shirt. So you've got things like hay rides, making jack-o'-lanterns, you could do like making costumes, pumpkin spice. Now, the possibilities are really endless, but kind of that cute, cozy fall aesthetic especially geared towards more women's designs is not going anywhere anytime soon. Those designs are still selling really, really well. So definitely this is a way that you could kind of niche down and stand out and capitalize on people just wanting those really cute, comfy t-shirts to wear in the fall. Now this next niche is kind of similar to how I talked about with school designs. You don't want to just focus on general teacher designs, but if you are going to focus on teachers, which is a huge money maker, you should do the niches of kind of more specific teachers. So instead of creating designs just for a teacher in general, think about creating designs for a Spanish teacher. So maybe finding some really fun phrases in Spanish that either have to do with school or teaching Spanish and make something very niche specific for one kind of teacher. Or you could do the very same thing with maybe an even more specific kind of teacher. So like a Montessori teacher or a teacher at maybe like a Waldorf school or some very specific niche kind of preschool. You could also do something for like a music teacher or certain extracurricular teachers. Really the more specific you can be, you're going to have more success and in turn make more sales. So really think about those teachers that maybe don't get as much attention and create some really niche specific designs. So you definitely could just take a general teacher shirt that's doing well and kind of swap out the words for like music teacher instead. But where I think you're gonna have the most success is really diving into that niche, like I talked with the Spanish one, and actually putting in the time to create things that are only relevant to a Spanish teacher. So not just kind of copy and pasting. Well, this is a good strategy to kind of just copy and paste the different type of teacher on the same design. I think you're gonna have more success if you can kind of get into those niches, figure out what is funny, what things are jokes within the community and kind of create tons of designs that way. There are so many other things you need to be doing to make sure you are getting yourself ready to have the most successful Q3 and Q4. So I actually have created an entire video that gives my best tips to double or triple your sales in the last months of the year. I'm going to link that here and I definitely recommend that you watch that. I hope this gave you some ideas. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.